Hey guys, this is Will from Interesting Productions, back to talk to you about my latest character that I've drawn. Sorry guys that I didn't get this information out sooner. Uh, I've had a huge, tiring, long week, and I haven't had any time to do to get this information out. And I don't even know how I got this in. Like, I was at a friend's house, and uh, I couldn't sleep, so I, said, I thought to myself, hey, let's draw. So, I got this done. And I'll talk to you a little bit about this, and then I'll move on to a couple notes that I've been doing on the Archer. I haven't completely forgotten about the manga. I still have to do this, though, because I need to work on my art. I'm still kind of bad at original stuff, so I'm going to keep looking at manga and then eventually move move on and start getting back up with the manga. Anyway, um, as you might have guessed, this is... Alphonse and Edward Elric from Full Metal Alchemist. Kind of hard to miss the armor. <laughs> anyway, um, let me talk a little bit about drawing these guys. It took me about a half hour-ish. Uh, and I thought originally that Al would be much harder to draw than Ed. But in the end, it turned out that Ed was extremely hard. The eyes were crazy. Uh, his hair was a lot harder than I thought it would be. And then, uh, I mean, I'm not gonna say that Al was easy, but it was easy. He was easier. And Ed's mechanic. I'm um, sorry. What's the word for it? Auto male arm. It's crazy. I couldn't get anywhere near all the details that were in it. So I kind of just left it as it was. as that kind of blocky? almost looking muscly arm so but I really like how this turned out especially for a late night drawing and with not much light but anyway let's move on and let's see what I've been working on uh, these are just some sketches from art museums but here I want to show you real quick this was a guy that was sitting next to me on a bench while I was just walking around the city and uh, he was looking away most of the time, and by the way, this is a dude. I didn't get to draw it a lot because my mom pulled up and she needed to take me away for I forget what reason. But anyway, uh, I don't know if this guy knew I was drawing him, but I liked how it turned out. And I had just drawn Yuri Lowell like the day before, so I just made the little note because the long hair kind of reminded me of him. And, uh... A lot of this is just doodling, but I, I really like just this stylized character on the right. It's kind of based off the whole, like, lanky style of Holic. Uh, I don't know if that's how I actually pronounce it. I, mean, I don't want to say triple X Holic. It's, but it's a great manga. It's a great anime. I really like the art style. Uh, a lot of people are kind of annoyed by it, how, like, everyone who's not the main character is gray and uh, how they're extremely out of proportion, but I like it. But then again, that's been my heart style for the last two years. I'm trying to get in more proportion, more proportionate, but I still like that kind of long, lanky character. Kind of reminds me of Jack Skellington. Uh, there's Yuri. And here's another character I've been working on. Uh, extremely spiky hair. This is the first one I drew. I liked the hairstyle, so I kind of went along with it. I tried to make him a tough guy, but still kind of looked a little sympathetic, like he could be a good guy. If you could see that in that character, I'd be surprised because I'm not very good at emotion yet. But anyway, uh, I really tried to work on different ways of doing the hairstyle. This one's from the back, and eh, it, it turned out okay. Um, I might use this, but, you know, who knows. Here are some notes on Archie's bow. I was, like, really struggling with trying to make it symmetrical and I tried to use geometry and that didn't really work and I'm also just trying to think about the de decoration if I really want it to be fancy or if it's something like he found off on the side of the road or if he like make it made it himself or something if you want to submit some input like <laughs> anyway um, if you want to like say some stuff that you want on the arrow or on the bow I need to work on I mean, yeah if you want to yeah, you know, that, that's pretty much what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, if you want to uh, just tell me if there's something specific you want on the bow, like, that would make it really cool, or some kind of specific design, as long as it's not really far out there, because it kind of needs to stand the 
uh, in the vicinity of medieval bows, not like some kind of extreme Middle Eastern or some kind of like futuristic like cyber bow or something. But anyway, let's see. I had some interesting notes on uh, the main character's hair somewhere in here. I'll find it. Okay, here we are. So, I was thinking about just drawing the hair. And this was the first one I drew. It, it way too spiky, uh, to the point where it's very unrealistic. Then I tried the other one with less, like less spikes, but then that really went out of proportion. And I'm kind of, kind of trying to keep it realistic to a certain extent. Yeah, I mean, yes, spikes to make it simpler instead of drawing like the little, yeah. But anyway, whatever. But I didn't like this specific spike, like how it kind of goes against the drawing, and I kind of altered that to make it a little more natural. So I drew this, and I really, really liked it. Uh, the chins, uh, I didn't really do good on the chin, but I really like the hair, how that worked. And I didn't make it where they're like their own spikes. They kind of coincide with each other. They flow, and I really like that. Uh, you might be seeing all the notes and just thinking what's going on, but whatever. Then, uh, yeah, I tried to do this one, and I liked how I did that, but, uh, this one's not as, this hair's not quite as good as the other one. Uh, and then I was trying to think about how I would do the front spikes, and I thought I would go full metal with it, and just do, like, spike, 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 and kind of leave it at that instead of keep making it intricate. But anyway, um... That's about it, so let me show you Ed and Alphonse again. There they are. I hope you like this video, and I'll see you guys later.